So right now I am doing outdoor lighting and it's after dark and it's awesome. Yes, I have plenty of traffic and it's a safe area, so no worries. And I am doing it by myself on a ladder, so don't try this at home. Anyway, I'm doing lighting, da, 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 on a super tall tree and I'm rather pleased to see it after dark. It's so much prettier than in the day. Um, anyway, I'm tired. I'm covered in ants because this tree is infested, but that's okay. My hair's a moss, but who cares? Anyway, um, as far as outdoor lighting goes, I believe in going all the same direction on your lights, da, 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 and space the same if you can. Hold things in place by zip ties so that things don't slip, especially where you put your connections together. And I think LEDs are the way to go, even though they're not as souped up and fabulous as they used to be. So you'll need to use electrical tape or something to cover the sockets so that water doesn't get in and cause your lights to pop on and off. Sometimes it happens with LEDs because they're not as well made as they used to be. <laughs> anyway, um, that's the story. I'm very tired and I'm looking forward to this project being done, but it's very rewarding to see things illuminated at night. I love bling, I just do. Talk to you later, bye.